What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are showcasing the before and after of the MDT office or the, the room tour, whatever you want to say, man. You guys can see here that it is pretty much cleared out. I mean, it's not completely cleared out. We do have a little bit more to get to, but the last time you guys saw this, it was full of figures. We had stuff hanging over there, of course, and all that stuff, but we do lack a little bit. I still got some more stuff that I got to get off the walls, of course, man. You would not believe the amount of stuff that we have taken out and gotten rid of. If you guys can see here, underneath here, you guys remember all those drawers and stuff like that. All of those are moved. All this stuff up here was like the AEW mock collection or a lot of it, you know, just like stacked up there. We had some retros down here. We have a lot of stuff, but I'm going to showcase not only what this used to look like, but also I want to, and I'm, I'll pipe in footage. I'll pipe in footage of what it looked like shortly before I did, you know, take everything out, move everything around. But the last couple of days, the last week or so actually has just been spent on just slowly but surely moving these things, taking the figures off the shelves, cleaning out the closets. I'll show you guys the closets and stuff like that. Patron members will know what those closets used to look like compared to now, but we have a few more things I wanted to showcase and just kind of explain everything as we get the move underway. But taking a look over here, man, look at this box. We do have like some figures and stuff like that that are being transported. This is not typically how I would do things, but I kind of was on a time crunch. And so I did put the customs in their own boxes. Some of these are customs here. Like there are a, custom, a couple customs here, but usually it's like the Demon Finn Balor's, you know, the Buzz Lightyear Seth Rollins. Customs that are pretty you know, in detail, stuff like that. If it was just a simple repaint or something like that, didn't really, you know, care too much for it. But uh, yeah, we got like all the different figures in here, just random stuff. Boxes upon boxes, man. When I tell you boxes upon boxes, I mean, it's got to be like a hundred different boxes. And we're going to showcase that in the next few days of the new office and like showcase everything like that. But I did want to update you guys and showcase what's kind of been happening here. I still have not taken down this entire section right here. And then of course, all the mock AEW on the wall. And then some other things that I got to get through, of course. But I also wanted to showcase this. So this is actually a custom that I got from my man Paj Customs. It is this yellow attire Adam Cole figure. And this looks beautiful, so I didn't get a chance to showcase this. We're going to be updating this on surgery. Probably put an Elite 92 head sculpt on it. But we did have this beautiful yellow and black gear. Thought that was pretty sweet. I wanted to showcase that. It's a little bit of a, you know, obviously the shelves are pretty much empty but I did want to showcase some other stuff. Now, this figure right here is actually insane because this is a figure that is like two years old almost, or it's it's definitely a long time. So this Kenny Omega right here, I think is like a year and a half, maybe two years old. And this is actually the OG Kenny Omega for My Damn Nation. This was going to be his My Damn Nation gear. So you have like the white, black, and gold here. Obviously, it's super outdated now, but I did want to showcase it a little bit and just show you guys what this looks like because this was like, uh, I mean, th this is like years in the making, obviously, but this is just the Kenny Omega there. You got the black and gold. You got the Omega logo. You got the silhouette, the one wing danger on the Omega logo. This was actually made by Angelo, who is Natty's customizer, obviously, but this was made a long time ago. This is when we were, like, on track, you know, and, like, the, the episodes were coming out pretty consistently, and this was the attire that we had made for. Now, ever since then, this, this attire has been scrapped. Pick Fed's not completely done, even though it's been on a hiatus. I still have plans to go back and finish that off, which you guys can see the arena in the background, but this Kenny Omega is a custom that we've had locked up and away for a very long time, but I wanted to showcase that so you guys could see that just because it's a cool moment in time. So we do have that Kitty Omega there. Don't have any plans to use it now. Now it's just kind of like a, ta a time capsule, if you will. We also have these retro figures and stuff, but the arena is probably going to have to come down. I, I mean, it has to come down because we're moving houses, but I am going to, I plan on rebuilding this. Like I'm going to take down all of this and rebuild it the exact same way. So we'll see what comes of that. I still have my championships up here that I got to get down, but yeah, we still got we, uh, still a lot more to do man i, I want to show you guys the new office and like what i have plans for as far as the collection and stuff like that but i did want to showcase this little moment in time as well because now i can go back and look at it right i can go back i can use this video as kind of a time capsule in itself to go back and look at what we had and everything like that so here is the review station so i do plan on moving that together and i want to update this when we do move i'd like to change it up a little bit maneuver some stuff maybe implement some other ways you guys know that this is usually the shot right there i do want to uh change this up a little bit i don't know exactly what that looks like exactly but we'll see what comes of that as well you guys can leave some comments or some ideas down in the comment section below. Of course, the computer hasn't moved because i got to edit this video. Here's my, my can here, the John Cena silhouette can. 
for my man Brad. Looking pretty sweet. And then we do have my armband that I snagged at a show from John Cena himself, which is always amazing. So, always love to look at that. And then we have my custom figure and stuff over here. I think we have another episode of Action Figure Closet coming out soon. That'll probably be the first video at the new house, unless we do like a showcase or something like that. But this is probably the last video that I will do in this house, at least, you know, with the camera like spinning around, showcasing everything. Here's some more boxes. But, oh yes, I did want to show off the closet a little bit because the closet was full of figures. Man, when I tell you this, this stuff was like full, the whole closet was full of figures. Now the closet has nothing in it. So I have completely, good God, I have completely changed this closet out. Any patron members will know that this thing was pretty much full. I think those are actually bags for my championship belts, but we'll have to get those out and down when I uh, un undo these. But this video is literally being filmed at 3 a.m. It is 3 a.m. right now in the office, and so I wanted to get the camera out, film it a little bit, showcase, you know, a little bit of before and after with the office full and all those things, man. But a lot of memories made in this office, of course. A lot of memories made in this house, actually, for the channel. But now we will move on to a new house and a new chapter and hopefully... All the great things, man, but I wanted to make this video again just to showcase a little bit of everything, showcase everything that we have going on and what my plans are and everything. We even have the roster shelves over here, and uh, yeah, so we had the women up top, I think it was, and then down here we had the Vindication roster, and then we had the MDT Live roster, and then I'm, I'm finally getting rid of these. These hung up here forever, and I really had no place for them, but now I'm going to get rid of them, but now I have to get these down, <laughs> this mock AEW figure collection, Jesus. There's so many mock figures, man, from AEW, from WWE, Ultimate Edition, all the different nine. Tons and tons of boxes of loose figures, obviously. This is just, I think this is only Dolph Ziggler's Seth Rollins, Finn Balor's, and Bray Wyatt's. This, that is all this is, and that didn't include customs, so you guys can see this box is completely full. And so, you know, that's not including all the AJ Styles, the Rocks, the Cena's, the Orton's, the all that BS. But hopefully that will be in a video to come soon this week. I'll show you guys what the office looks like with all the boxes on the ground, with, you know, just all the boxes full of all the different crap that we have and everything like that. So that should be fun, but... Yeah, I just wanted to make this video to, to update you guys, showcase everything we got here. And then we do have to finish up here, so I wanted to take a break for a second, catch my breath. I, I mean, I have, uh, it's been a day, man. When you consider, when you consider we had Comic-Con, and then I got sick there for a week, and then fall camp for football started, and then we were moving, and then it was birthdays, and it was all this stuff, man. So it was like a million different things hit at once, but we're trying to get it all together here. I have a, just a little bit more to pack up, and then we can finally move on from this office and get into the new one and I can start setting that up and I don't think I don't think I'm gonna do the singular layers like this man you guys can let me know down below what you guys think do you want me to keep these shelves and like keep it like rows and rows and rows because I don't think the new the new office ceiling isn't as tall as the ceilings in here but it's a it's a much larger area so we will have to see about that, but if you guys don't want the, uh, I, I, I'm all open ears, you know, I'm open ears to see if you guys have any cool ideas. I thought about doing detox, I thought about doing different things, you guys can let me know, but of course this is where the AEW figures were, and you know, we had them like all in a line, singular, just in a single file line, but if, uh, if you guys have better ideas, then definitely let me know, but I think that is going to wrap up this video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy, of course it was just me kind of rambling on and talking a little bit about everything, but I wanted to talk about about everything man so you guys can leave me your thoughts down below on everything man get the AJ you don't even get to see that flag most of the time and look there's a Jeff Hardy one over here that you can't see either but it's nice to see that man I got those for like five dollars I think what a steal now they have holes all in it from these shelves hate to see that but that is gonna wrap this video up man hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts on all these things down in the comment section below but I appreciate you guys so very much for the continued support of my channel. I appreciate you guys very, very much. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me all your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later. And I'll see you next time.